So how do I um, balance family life with um, the writing life? Um, well, it's, there's not much of a balance right now since, uh, um, well, I'll just come out and say it since I got kicked out again a few years ago. But, um, you know, um, but it just, I, this is a topic I go to often. Um, sometimes in my written blog at the Vincent Standard Box, but um, it's not easy. Balancing the writer's life and the family life is just plain not easy, especially especially if you're um, a traveler like I am. Um, because uh, in my case, I'm gone sometimes three months out of the year, sometimes more. Um, and I go to some it's not always like Italy. I go to some crazy places, right? Uh, in Africa or Asia or wherever. Um, but for me, I need that stuff. I, uh, I need that stimulation and that for, and inspiration for my work. And I have several um, several uh, uh, several series that uh, require that kind of uh, on-site. Um, on-site research is what I'm trying to get at. Um, I, I think I hear a band in the background. I don't know. There's just loud music. Um, so, oftentimes, and then the other problem is oftentimes if I'm not actually writing, I'm thinking about writing, it's like, in you know, my story or my work in progress is in my head. So those closest to me will be like, well, you know, even if you're physically present, you're not, like, really present with us, you know? Um, uh, and then the, another problem is that, say, like, uh, take a little vacation to Cape Cod with uh, uh, my wife and daughter or something like that, or my then wife and daughter. Um, you know, since, technically speaking, I'm still working, you know, like, my, the, the writer's life doesn't stop for vacation. Um, occasionally you can take a vacation. Um, I'd get up extra early and write, you know? And uh, for some reason this would, this would make them angry, I guess, because maybe um, it would make it, make it seem like, I'm, but on a, appearance wise, it would make it seem like I'm being selfish. When I really wasn't, but, um, but again, this is, uh, it, it, there's, I don't mean to sound defeatist, but like, it's it's like that. It, it's a problem writers have always had, writers and artists, you know, and that's why like Hemingway was married however many times. Norman Mailer had like eight wives. Uh, Picasso had how many wives and girlfriends, you know, and all those those types of things. And I'm not trying to compare myself to somebody of that stature, but um, we're all about the work. And speaking of Picasso, I think his barber asked him once. And this was played out uh, in a recent drama of Picasso. Um, the barber asked him, he's like, you know, Pablo, why don't you spend more time with your family? You know, your kids. Get to know them better. And he said, his response was, if I did that, I would never have gotten anything done. Ciao, ciao.